Now this is what a white phosphorus attack looks like. White ribbons of phosphorus raining down from the sky, engulfing the landscape in billowing clouds of smoke. This is the grim reality of a white phosphorus attack, a weapon of unparalleled devastation that spares nothing in its path. And amid the chaos and despair of Israel-Hamas war, a chilling revelation emerges. So has Israel unleashed a banned weapon on Lebanese soil, defying international law and inflicting untold suffering? Now, Lebanon has a deep cultural connection to its trees. Its ancient cedar tree, which dominates the forests of its northern highlands, holds great symbolic importance as a national emblem and is featured front and center on the country's flag. The iconic resilient cedar faces the growing threat of climate change. And adding to it, Lebanon's woodland has now come under an even more insidious threat in the past few months, and that is of white phosphorus. Now, Israel's reported use of white phosphorus bombs has dramatically impacted the lives of Lebanese residents, agricultural workers, and the South's vital agricultural sector, which produces a significant portion of the country's fruit, citrus, and commercially viable olives and tobacco. Now, according to Save the Children, an increase in cross-border shelling and rocket fire since October 7 has triggered blazes in a key agricultural area of Lebanon that have run wild through olive groves and nearby farming communities. So in February, the charity noted that tens of thousands of families in southern Lebanon have lost their livelihood with Israeli military fire destroying over 47,000 olive trees as well as other crops during their harvest. So now the question that arises is, what is white phosphorus and is Israel really using this banned chemical? So Israel perceives Lebanon's forests as providing cover for Hezbollah fighters and hindering its efforts along the border. Now, this has led to a scorched earth policy aimed at eradicating vegetation cover and destabilizing the region. Now, white phosphorus, a waxy yellowish substance emitting a pungent odor, poses severe risks. Highly flammable, it ignites rapidly upon contact with air emitting intense light and dense smoke that cannot be extinguished easily. Its adherence to skin and garments leads to grave burns penetrating deep to the bone upon exposure. Now, despite these grave dangers, its use in warfare remains unilaterally unregulated. So usually, troops deploy phosphorus for generating white smoke to aid camouflage efforts. Nonetheless, it's imperative to acknowledge that the United Nations Convention expressly prohibits the utilization of white phosphorus. Its employment in attacks on civilian structures constitutes a flagrant violation resulting in unimaginable harm to innocent lives. Now, amidst the chaos, the efforts of organizations like Green Without Borders to rejuvenate Lebanon's southern regions through tree planting initiatives have reportedly been met with hostility by Israel. So, founded in 2013, GWB has been instrumental in reforesting areas ravaged by conflict and deforestation. However, in 2023, the U.S. Department of the Treasury imposed sanctions on Green Without Borders and its president, alleging ties to Hezbollah and illicit activities. But despite these allegations, UNIFIL has confirmed 
the legitimacy of Green Without Borders environmental endeavours refuting claims of illicit border operations. Now, GWB's President Zuhair Nale has emphasised the organisation's commitment to environmental conservation and its authorisation by the Lebanese Ministry. So, the reported use of white phosphorus in Lebanon has sparked concerns among the international community with calls for independent investigation. Several human rights organisations have called for accountability and transparency regarding the alleged use of this controversial weapon. So as Lebanon's forests continue to smolder and its agricultural heartland lies in the ruins, the toll of war on the country's natural heritage remains painfully evident but definitely not addressed.